try to open it and the consequences would be disastrous for both of us. You would die instantly and I would lose someone I hope to soon call a collaborator and friend. When you check on me, as of course you will, you'll find just enough under this name to whet your appetite for a taste of sweeter things. What would that mean? Money, I guess. When I collaborate on a book, I'm usually very well paid. Can you help Joe? What's the signature? Carlos with a K, Xander. Okay, I'm punching it up. Z-A-N-D-E-R. But I got some stuff in Xander. If you want any photocopies, tell me now, and I'll see what I can do. But I don't advertise the service for now. Thanks a lot, Joe. So who is Xander? He's a fixer. He used to see himself as a champion of revolutionary causes. Nasty sense of humor, huh? The Hotel Mansour Baghdad. Thanks, Joe. I just love being reminded of that. He's kind of a high-level go-between. Between who and whom? You know, governments, multinationals. North Africa, Europe, here. He runs a multi-million dollar business out of three briefcases and permanent luxury suites in all the major capitals. Always secret deals. Yeah, not a thing on paper. No investigating committee could point the pudgy finger at anyone and say bribery and corruption. He's a fixer, a liar, some baby. Enjoy him in good health. Xander, born Tali in Estonia 6620. They grow up fast there and tough too. In 39, when the Soviets invaded the Baltic States, he was a university student. He managed to get away with a party of refugees who made it by boat to Danzig. Volunteered for the Wehrmacht, Hitler's army. See? And we lose sight of him till 46, when he crops up in the French Foreign Legion using the alias Karl Hecht. Ah, now this is interesting. This is some kind of an invoice for an import-export company in Tunis called Brochet Transport. A shipment of antibiotics, can you believe? We lose sight of him for a while, and, oh, that's uh, in Libya, I think. And uh, here we have...